Two Forks Tower. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. 
but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close? Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo! Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? It's right in the middle of your room. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Seriously, are you seeing this? Hey, I can see your tower. Yeah, great. I'm north of you. Those fireworks are west of you. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Do you think you can handle that? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Smart. Shut up.
admit you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. Anyway, thanks to last summer, we got a bump in Forest Service budget and can actually afford to have you. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is, like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. Like the goddamn park can burn down again. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. What about shitty boss is gonna get me killed hill? Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? Uh, it's actually English for not in my job description. How do you expect me to get down this? Well, did you get that rope? Uh, no, I didn't. Well, go back and get it. If you break your leg on your first day, I will not be pleased. Hey, I'm going the right way if I'm at the shale slide, right? Toward the fireworks? You're not lost. Those fireworks are going off to the west of you. It's down the slide and across the meadow, okay?
So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Ugh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. I found the supply box. Great. Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. A whole lot of them.
Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. Do people lose their shit doing this job? There's a note that says a guy just left his post. It happens, yeah. You're not going to pop your top, are you, Henry? I wasn't planning on it. Hey, there's a snack in here. Probably going to eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. This vista is incredible. <laughs> Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. There's a canyon and then the rest of... Well, <laughs> everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. I think I might be lost. I'm still at the shale slide. Yes, just head down and keep going west. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My shitty boss almost got me killed. First, your boss is a delight. Secondly, Jesus. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake.
Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here, just a little away from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Ugh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the maid. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Oh shit, ferret or Irish. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. They left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties? There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? There's a... Ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on. I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's... You know... Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. What is that guy doing over there? Is he skeezing? Hey, guy! Are you skeezing? Get out of here! I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? 
break Lily. He probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years. <laughs> He's probably still a virgin. Why do guys think it's alright to just stare at girls? We hiked all the way out here to get away from guys like you. Look, I'm sorry for bothering you. Can you just knock it off, please? Yeah, you should be. This is a free country, and we should be free to do whatever we want. And free from any peeping tongs. I said sorry. Oh my god, is that what you are? Work me out. Ew. Can we just get out of here? Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I took their stereo. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're all even then? Yeah, I think so. But seriously, though, thanks for dealing with it. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. Well, their underwear is still strewn all over down here. Well, it is a particularly warm evening. I'm not sure I blame them. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. Uh, okay, so from these rocks, where do I go again? Go back towards the lake, turn north, and east through the canyon. There should be a trail at the far east side of it.
have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Hey, uh, I can see my tower. How do I get back? If it's the one I think it is, there should be an old trail the Forest Service closed off a couple years back. And I'm sure their reasons for closing it off had nothing to do with safety, right? Oh, it washed out and became a fucking death trap. So, you know, be careful. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Hey, you keep your lights on at night? I'm doing a crossword puzzle. I, I do a lot of crossword puzzles. Hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril.
Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. I might have just gotten rabies. Go on. I, I'm sniffing around an old lookout and I got attacked by a raccoon. Did he bite you? I, I don't think so. Yeah, you're probably fine. Wait, is the lookout you're in burned to a crisp and filled with raccoons? Uh, apparently. Ooh, Hawk's Rest. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, I see what you're doing. What, what do you mean? I just like to stay out of haunted places myself. Okay, go on. Out with it. You want to hear about Raccoon Carter? <laughs> so, some years ago, way before my time, a man named Winthrop Carter was stationed at Hawk's Rest. He was an angry, angry loner. The story was he lost his life savings betting on horse fights. Horse fights? In Mexico. So he did what a lot of us do in times of trouble. He signed up with the Forest Service to watch for fires. His first night in his lookout, there was a break-in. And the break-ins didn't stop. Finally, one night, he awoke to find someone in his lookout. He reached for his hand axe and threw it at the figure. And just before the axe killed its target, he heard a small voice cry, Help! What was it? A raccoon. Oh, of course. See, back in these days, the Forest Service wasn't so good about dropping off food and supplies, and... Well, Carter was hungry. So he did what anyone would do. He skinned and ate it. Eventually, Carter didn't want to eat anything else. It was raccoons or nothing. But one night, as he sharpened his raccoon blade, there was a scratching at the door. He looked towards it, and again, heard a tiny voice. Help! He approached slowly, knife in hand, and ripped the door open. But no one was there. But then, from under the bed, he heard another small voice. Help! Help! Carter looked under the bed, and of course nothing was there either. So, startled but believing he was just tired, Raccoon Carter went out hunting, and for the first night in months, came up empty. Now, in bed, his stomach rumbling, he hears the voice again. Help! Help! And now, he wonders if it's coming from inside of him. But then... A figure appears at the edge of the bed. Again, he reaches for his axe, but in its place is another figure. He looks for the door, and there are more and more figures. Beady, glowing eyes peering out through dark masks. He leaps out of bed, horrified, slips and hits his head. And before he can get up, he feels hundreds of little fingers and razor-sharp teeth digging into his skin. Far away in Bighorn Tower, the lookout reported hearing a voice echoing through the valley. Loud at first, and then smaller and smaller, until they faded away forever. Help! 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 And that's the story of Raccoon Carter. His ghost still wanders through the valley, moaning, Help! Help! on hot summer nights.
So, if Raccoon Carter died, how do we know this story? They found his body ripped to shreds by raccoons. And, and Hawk's Rest was filled to the brim with raccoon pelts. It's probably what caused the fire. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? 
That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. Okay, I put in a call. What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. 